This time I will be talking about another movie that has been a tradition of mine to watch every Christmas. And that movie is a very hard and cool Christmas. But anyway, Mr. Paris tells a very fucking sad backstory. Apparently, he, he never had a good Christmas tree. Yeah, for some reason, after the wheat was thrown out of the window, another window opens by itself and that's how the tree fucking burns. That is extremely ridiculous and doesn't make much sense, but at the same time though, it's very fucking awesome. Yeah, Harold and Kumar sure go through a lot of fun misadventures in this movie and I fucking love this movie for that. Anyway, Kumar buys the tree that Harold was about to buy and he doesn't fucking know that Harold was about to buy it. Now this would be a dick move if he already knew that Harold was going to buy it. But I can't really consider this a dick move because Kumar doesn't even fucking know that Harold is the one who reserved that tree. And Kumar only wants to be nice to Harold and knows he screws up and wants to make up for it. Anyway, the car Kumar was in fucking blows up and now the tree is fucking destroyed as well. Wow, just when Kumar was trying to make things right, it blows in his face since the tree is now fucking destroyed. But anyway, later on in the movie, Kumar challenges one of the kids at the party and makes a deal that if he wins the challenge, that he gets to keep the fucking tree. Damn, that sure is a tough challenge. Now Kumar isn't exactly excellent uh, at this challenge, but Harold is and he beats the fucking challenge, which is beyond fucking awesome. Anyway, at this party... Unfortunately for Harold and Kumar, that woman who is raping Harold has a father who is a fucking more boss? And since that rapist lied about Harold being the one who raped her, he of course starts fucking attacking Harold and Kumar, or more specifically, he orders his minions to do that. But anyway, the reason they were in a clay motion world is because they were affected by fucking drugs. So apparently that's what was in that glass of what looked like milk. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. You know what's the worst part about this? It's the fact that Harold and Kumar have been totally fucking screwed over. But anyway, it's time to talk about Todd. Since I don't have a lot to say about the scenes focusing on him, I am just gonna show one image from one of his scenes. 
He has to deal with his baby going fucking crazy since his baby has cocaine. And I gotta say, that's very fucking funny. But he is also one of the only two people left at the party who couldn't run away. Probably the most beautiful part of the entire movie. I thought you were gay! I am gay. Gay for that pussy. Gay for that pussy? How does that even begin to make sense? Yeah, I know, this line makes no sense on purpose since it's supposed to be funny. And I'm gonna have to admit, it is very fucking funny because of how weird it is. In fact, this is the funniest part of the movie in my opinion, hands down. Anyway, Harold and Kumar ask Harris, which I will be referring to him as for the rest of this review since his name is far too fucking long to remember. Harold and Kumar ask Harris about a Christmas tree and if they can get that waffle pot. And for some reason he is able to read their minds. How the hell does that even begin to make sense? I know this movie is supposed to be weird and that's exactly what makes it so fucking funny. Anyway, some crude criminals kidnap Harold and Kumar for no reason. Yeah, there isn't really a reason given, which I'm fine with. Anyway, Wafflebot proves how fucking awesome he is by beating the shit out of those crooked criminals. Fucking hell yeah. The solution is very simple. It's to use fucking coffee. And surprisingly enough, it works. Sure, it hurts Harold's dick for a bit. But it still gets the dick off the fucking pole. Now you might think that the madness in this movie is over, but nope, there is one madness that's left. Anyway, by some Christmas miracle, a very fucking beautiful tree is the next morning. Apparently this was a gift from Santa Claus. Fucking awesome! And the movie ends with fucking brilliant Christmas time. It's truly a Christmas classic.